Hey y'all, it's RVA Hiker Girl, and today I'm coming to you from Richmond's Pipeline Trail. I have had so many people ask me about this particular hike, which is one um, almost hidden gem. Not a lot of people um, have been down here to this trail. Some people have heard about it. Some people have actually come down here and couldn't find it. Um, but I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get down here and why this hike is so awesome. All right, so the big question is, how the heck do you find the Pipeline Trail? Don't go by your GPS because it literally is going to take you past it and you're going to wind up on the other side of the river. Okay, so the way that I got here today is I took 95 down to the Franklin Street exit. Then I got on 14th Street and then I turned on Canal Street. Then turn on Virginia Street and go all the way to the end of Virginia Street until you get to this flood wall. Once you get to this flood wall, I'm gonna take you over here so you can actually see where you end up. So at the end of the street, you're going to end up at the flood wall, right down there. And so you can park over here if you want to, but you gotta pay $8. Shh. So come on past this flood wall and come over to where you see the trolley right here. And then there's a little parking lot back here. And there's only enough for about maybe 10 cars if you're lucky. And it's free parking as long as you're only here for uh, three hours from eight to eight, I think it is. Um, anyway, so that's how you get here. So no excuses now that you know how to get here, come down and check out this trail. So what's really neat about this trail is that it goes along the pipeline here and it actually runs underneath of this train trestle you see to the right and that's actually it down there and it's right on the James. Um, if you park in the $8 lot, you don't have to walk all the way around. You can actually come through the flood wall doors. And if you're not familiar with this flood wall, this is what protects Richmond. Um, downtown Richmond from all the floods. So as you're walking along to the flood wall, you're going to come up to these steps up here on the right hand side that go underneath of the train trestle. And that is where you're going to go down the steps. You've got to climb down a metal ladder and that will actually take you onto this pipeline right here.
there's a little beach area and sometimes people bring towels and uh, chairs and that sort of thing and just hang out down here. I think there's a few people down here now. Make sure the kids are holding on to your hands 
and holding on to these railings because the water is just moving so fast. But it is just beautiful. It's just a great place to come and sit and just listen to the water and just de-stress. that I couldn't show you the end of the trail underneath the Mayo Bridge, but I thought I would take you around to over here where you can see where that's the flood wall door. And there's some railroad tracks. It's a cool bridge. wanted to walk across this bridge to show you where we were. Sorry about the car noise, but that is the train tracks that we just crossed over. And you're looking at the city, and that's the train trussing over top of the pipeline trail that we just were on. Okay, so real quick, I'm at the end, but I wanted to take you guys real quick to show you right over here to the left of where that trolley is. There's a really cool place that you can just walk right over and see some really unique Richmond murals. So on this urban hike, If you're from Richmond, you've seen people like this one take pictures of <coughs> and might not know exactly where where they were, but there's one at the very end down here. Actually, there's two um, that you will always see all over with people taking their pictures in front of, and that's both of these down here in the corner. So yeah, so while you're down here, come check these out, because they're really unique. All right guys, all done with the Richmond Urban Pipeline Trail. Um, I'm bummed that I couldn't show you where the um, pipeline ends and where it crosses over um, to land, but that just gives you something to come out and explore and you can see it for yourself, right? Um, anyway, across over here, if you come out this way and you decide to get hungry, um, right over there is Casa de Barco. Really good Mexican food. Um, but anyway, so this trail is probably, there's zero elevation gain besides just walking down a few steps. Um, it's not on all trails or anything like that. Um, but you can Google it, get the address. But remember, if you Google it, um, it's going to give you the incorrect GPS directions. So 
I wouldn't recommend doing that. Just listen to my directions and you'll get down here just fine. Um, but really neat place. Just be super careful when the water level is up high like that because it could get very dangerous very quickly, especially if the water levels are rising quickly. So, well, I hope this helps you guys um, figure out exactly where the pipeline is. And while you're down here, there's lots of other places you can explore to go urban hiking. The canal walk is amazing. Um, that will take you down to Browns Island. It will take you to Bell Island. You can get on the North Bank Trail. You can connect it to the Buttermilk Trail. I have all of those trails posted um, on my YouTube channel. So anyway, well, thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you need an idea of where you can hike in the state of Virginia, just go check out my channel. All right, I'll see you next time.